hey guys welcome back to my channel love charms world hello 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 if you know take a look around like if you like something if you like a video don't forget to hit that like button if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you're continuing to watch my video and you haven't yet subscribed why haven't you subscribed anyways by the title you'll see what I'm talking about um so let's get right into the video oh yeah by the way guys i don't only do flight attendant videos i do every type of video it's like a one-stop shop here okay i do try on haul i do vlogs when i'm on vacation i do personal vlogs as well so just get to know me and if you have any questions comment down below or you could email me or you could shoot me a message on instagram Sometimes Instagram does not notify me, but I will get to them. Okay, well, um, let's get right into the video. So, by the title, you, you see that I got held at gunpoint when I was living in Jamaica. So, this was around the time when I was like in grade four. So, I was probably like maybe eight or nine i'm not really sure of the age but for sure no that i think i was coming out of grade three going into grade four or something like that um i do know at the time i was attending um still mars proprietor school that was in king that's in kingston near on short, short hood road in Jamaica anyways um, I do know that it was in the summertime because I remember going to summer school but I was going to summer school in the area where I reside at the time which was in Spanish town st. Catherine um, and it's one of those primary schools, I forgot the name of the, the school, but my aunt had sent me to um, to summer school at that, um, at that, my aunt had sent me to a summer school at that primary school. Now in Jamaica, summer school is not like over here in the US. It's not like if you failed or something. Summer school is just like, you're refreshing your brain or they're prepping you for what's to come in the grade that you're about to go into so that was summer school so by the time September and when you're going through certain things you already know these type of stuff anyways it's like a refresher so um, I remember being so when I was living in Spanish town like I had this thing where I would wake up in the middle of the night and walk around and check to see if everything is good. I don't know why, it was just a habit and I just continued to do that. So, um, I remember um, one night we came home late from, cause my aunt, her mom had a bar in Crossroads, so she would go there to help her mom out and everything so we would be there late in the night so i think it was a saturday night yeah because she mostly go there on saturdays and then sundays we're home and you know we prep for school and everything so <clears throat> i remember it was a saturday i came home um and i used to in jamaica you have to as soon as you shower you have to wash your undergarments and like hang them out so I remember I washed my undergarment and then I went through the back door, hung out my stuff, and then came back inside. I closed the door. So then, bedtime now, went to sleep, and then um, I just had the urge to get up. So I, I wanted, I think I wanted to pee. So then I got up and then as soon as I got off the bed, I saw something and then the person saw me and then they're like with a gun, 
don't move. And I was like, I was, I don't remember, I don't remember being scared at all. I was like, oh snap, like, you know, like what's going on? So let me recap. In my, okay, I'm, I live in Spanish town and I live in Spanish town at the time with my aunt. So it's a two bedroom house. Um, my aunt her, and her husband is in the front room and we're in the back. So the rooms are like close together. So my uncle was sleeping, my aunt was sleeping, my cousin till this day she don't know what transpired she's still sleeping she sleeps dead okay so when the guy said don't move um i guess because me and my aunt we don't really sleep dead so when he said don't move i guess he was in there and he was like he was stealing some stuff so back then we had like vcr like cassette where we watched the videos and stuff and he at the time that was like a popular thing so we had one of that so he came and he stole that along with some other things and then my aunt must have heard and then she got up and I guess she saw him and she got scared and I think she I don't remember what happened but all I know is my aunt ran outside and ran down like screaming for help and then my neighbors was outside and they asked her what happened I guess the guy saw my aunt running out and then he ran out the house and um, my aunt ran to the neighbors and she started explaining to them and they said oh, like they were I guess they saw the guy and they tried to go after the guy but he got lost Anyways, I think um, they, my aunt called the cop and, and they came. Um, they took a statement and everything. And um, I don't remember if my uncle or my cousin or anybody even like woke up to know anything. Cause as I said, they sleep very dead. And yeah, my aunt was scared as hell. And I honestly, I don't remember being scared. Like I was just like, wow. But he point the gun, like when I said I got off the bed and then he point the gun and say, don't move. I was like, okay. I just stood there and just like, I guess I was like in my head, if this is it, this is it. You know, like it's not funny, but it's like, I just wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't scared at all anyways um, the police came they took the statements and everything um, from what I remember they were asking if I was okay and everything and um, they were gonna like have someone patrolling there for the night or whatever so then in the day um, my aunt was like my aunt was still scared and I remember her as asking me if I wanted to um if I wanted to go to summer school if I'm scared or whatever I was like no I want to go because I was just like I don't know why I wasn't scared or anything but my, I could tell my aunt was so uncomfortable and she was worried it, about me if I was okay and everything but I was fine but from that, my aunt, she put, I think she put a grill on um, on the house and everything. And they they still, I think she told me the other day when I went to Jamaica and I saw her that somebody did still broke into their house and stole their TV and everything. Um, it's just like, my, it's not a bad neighborhood because we all grew up there I basically I was living with my aunt from I was in grade one to grade to part of grade four I think yeah and it wasn't a bad it to me it wasn't a bad neighborhood you know but you would hear things that guys will come in and they would steal and everything 
and yeah because like where we lived is like the good part but then there is like a, a river which they call it a canal and then across from there is like the, the the bad area you know what i mean but like nothing really never really happened on our side but stealing and everything so i was just like young and in shock so yeah that was a time when i was in jamaica and i got held at gunpoint and i still to this day don't i don't really remember everything for sure what transpired but i just i wasn't scared i don't remember crying or anything and I, and i still got up and i still did my routine of walking around and 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 checking even till this day I will sometimes just wake up and just like go check on things because I don't know it's just like a I don't know it's a thing I'm sorry in the background the AC is on I'm still in the hotel room mind you guys off topic so today I have my flight it's now um it's now after one in the morning it's let me see it's now 1 25 a.m. in Minneapolis which is 2 25 in New York our plane was delayed and in from our plane was coming from here in Minneapolis to and we were currently in LaGuardia no in Raleigh dorm and our plane was delayed for four hours so we were sitting in the airport for like a while before a flight came in our whole schedule changed and now tomorrow we going in the evening at like our report time is is our flight don't leave until 9 something p.m. so that's the flip side and we only have one flight tomorrow so I'm glad about that I get my rest so I decided to do this video um, with you guys so that's it's just a mini story time about when I got held at gunpoint in Jamaica um, but and I'm not saying this to scare anyone um, of not going to Jamaica. Jamaica is a very beautiful island, but just like anywhere you go in the world, you have to be cautious, you know, of certain things. And I will never give up my beautiful island. I love it. I will move back if I had the money like this, like right now, I would move back to my island. So I'm not trying to discourage anyone of not going to Jamaica and experience how beautiful it is. I'm only sharing just a story time with you guys and I hope that you guys liked it. If you liked it, give it a hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And guys, check out my other videos and let's grow this love family. We're almost at, at 900 subscribers. We're trying to hit 1k we're on the road to 1k so hashtag love charms world to 1k subscribers um we're really trying to grow that family and i would like to do a special giveaway once we hit 1k um and i'm going to bring back to my channel the big up segments where i shout out people for commenting on my video interacting with me and everything there's this one person in particular that watches my video each and every time I upload and she's always commenting as soon as I upload. I'm trying to turn my phone on because my phone died um, so that I could see the name. But every time I post something, she's always commenting and I'm really grateful for that. And I'm grateful for you guys as well who have been supporting me from day one until now and i'm really proud of myself because when i first started my channel i wasn't consistent on my channel and now i'm trying to stay consistent and i've been doing really good so pat on the shoulder let me just get this lady name real quick because i don't want this video to go on any longer hold on just a second yeah so the lady that i want to have a big up segment too. So shout out to Maria de Luz Salvador. 
if I pronounced your name correct, correctly. So shout out to you and thank you so much for commenting each and every time you watch any of my videos. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you have a good rest of your Sunday evening and enjoy the rest of your Sunday, enjoy the rest of your week and I hope that you get everything sorted that you want to get sorted this week. I hope you have a successful week, that's what I'm trying to say. So thank you guys so much for watching, I love you guys so much for watching. Have a good evening and if you're new, Hit that subscribe button tell a friend to tell a friend i see you guys next sunday at 4 p.m thank you so much and bye